Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to create a three column layout with a header and a footer using Flexbox. So, I had a question in an in a older video where someone wanted the markup, they wanted the code for the page, and I'll have a link in the video description where you can grab it. However, this page is going to be so easy to make, your best course of action is just to open up your editor, and make it yourself. So, I've got my editor open, I've got the body of the page, I've got a div container, which is not really essential, and I'm going to go ahead and create a section, which is going to be the header. That'll be the header right there. And then after the header, I'm going to create a main section, and that's going to have three blocks in it, which will be the columns. I will do an aside. I will have, um, eh, let's do an article in there. And then last but not least, let's do another aside. So I don't even have to put content in these items. I just want to have a main container, any block container would work, div would work, with the three blocks inside. Now after the main, I'm going to have the, the footer. Okay, and I guess I'll put the word footer in there. So now that we've got that taken care of, and that's not what I want to have in there, I want to have the word header, just regular text. Cool, and I think this will conclude the HTML side of things. That's all the HTML you need for a three column layout with a header and a footer. Now you can't see much on my page, just those couple words there. So let's head up to the style and I'm going to start off by putting in a very generic simple reset rule. Margin zero, padding zero, border zero, box sizing, border box. And that's my go-to simple reset rule. And then I'm going to start to style the key elements as they occur. First on deck is the header. For my header, so that we can see it, background color, hashtag ABC, and let's give it a min height of about 150 pixels. Great. That's going to be enough so I can visualize that header section on the page. Now I'm going to jump down to the main. Now the main, I'll give that a background color as well. And I don't know, how about six, seven, eight? And a min height of 500 pixels, that sounds good. And then I'm gonna jump down to the footer and let's see, background color, hashtag, I don't know, four, five, six, min height of 200 pixels. And what we've got going on here is a single column layout with a header and a footer. That's all it takes. Now we're going to break up that main section into the three parts. And I want those three parts to be side by side. So in order to manage that, I'm going to make this main display flex. I'm going to make it a flex box parent. And in additional, in addition to that, even though it's not truly necessary, I'm going to do a flex flow row wrap. So the, the children are going to be side by side, and if and when necessary, they will wrap to a vertical orientation. We would need a couple other things for that, though. Okay, now I have an, an aside, an article, and then another aside. So, my aside, and I'll do int child number one, since I have two of them. I'm going to put in a flex. 0, 0, and let's say 200 pixels so that we can see it. Background color, pink. All right. That should allow us to visualize it. I'm going to copy this, paste it a couple of times. And when, of course, we have our side that is uh, the third child. Remember, I've got a side article aside. And I guess I'll make that one. Um, Hashtag FFC, which is a light shade of yellow. And let's make it a little wider, 250 pixels. And then, of course, that middle child is an article, not an aside. And for this one, though, I'm going to do flex one zero. And then I'm going to change that 200 pixels to auto. And the background color, I'll make that sky blue. So we should be able to visualize these three parts, and there we go. We got pink, sky blue, and yellow on the right. That is a three column layout with a header and a footer. And I don't want to go too deep into it on this video, but basically, main is a flex box parent, and then each of those three children, the asides and the um, article, they are flex children, and 
The asides have a flex grow of zero, which helps to force them to be based on the basis, that size there. And the article is a flex grow of one with auto for the basis, and that allows it to fill up and expand and take up all the space that it needs. So that's all you need. There's the HTML. Go ahead and pause your video and grab that HTML. Very simple. And then here's the CSS. Let me zoom out a shade so we can kind of see pretty much all of it. There it is. That is all it takes to create a three column layout with a header and a footer using Flexbox. And uh, yeah, go ahead and make your page. Thanks for hanging out with me.